<laughs> I'm so excited! I can't wait! <laughs> I really can't wait, people. I really can't wait. I really am just that excited. Hey guys, we are in the car and headed to what is supposed to be the biggest, most amazing <laughs> antique market, flea market thing. We don't even know what it's called in the Southeast. It, it's called Scott's Antiques. So everybody has been telling us about this place for years. We're headed over there today to check it out and see if it's as cool as everybody has proclaimed that it is. So we thought we'd take you along with us because it could be a lot of fun. This is like going to Disney for you. It is like going to Disney. <laughs> it's better than Disney. <laughs> We're going to an antiques thing. I mean, they say it's huge. I don't know. <laughs> Should we be like, we're going to antiques. Yeah, we're going antiquing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I really can't wait, people. I really can't wait. I really am just that excited. So <gasps> I just realized we match. <laughs> you even put on black pants. I'm even wearing leopard shoes. Literally. Okay, not the leopard shoes, but oh my God. It's because I see you. You and watch I... me get dressed and then you go match me. I was dressed it's first. It's subliminal. It's my subconscious wanting to be like you. Which I never will because you're so much prettier. Now we look like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> well, we know which one's Tweedledum. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, we are on our way. It's going to take, they say, about 45 minutes. 42. 42 minutes. And uh, we'll go see if it's awesome and take you along and show you everything. Oh, so here we are. Why do you not look as excited as I feel? What's wrong with you, man? Do you not know how exciting this is? Look at this building. It's full of treasures just waiting for us. Wait, why are those people allowed to go in faster than us? I don't know. I should... Well, it does say make two lanes. I just didn't know. Wow, so that means just sit in the long line, the first lane? Look at that. Back behind those trees is the highway. This couldn't be any more nondescript. This might be a total bust. That's what you're hoping for. You can leave early and <laughs> all right, let's see what it is. It's full of Land Rovers and Mercedes. And I know that we drive an Audi, but she's an older little beauty. Not sure yeah, so that not be like bargain. This, this is not gonna be bargain hunting bargain day. Hunting so today. we'll see what we find. We'll see what we find. Yeah, we'll see. Well, before we get too far off on our adventure today, I wanted to stop for just a moment and thank our video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. And I don't know if I've ever been so excited because HelloFresh has delivered my groceries and my meal fully planned out for me for the evening. There is definitely a reason that HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. These guys are amazing. They have given me time back in my day, which is the one thing you can never buy more of. So I'm delighted. We've got honey miso broccoli and sweet potato donburi. I've never tried donburi. We've seen all these exotic things today, which really just reminds us of our travels and living abroad. And I love that HelloFresh introduces new foods to my family and to myself. And I feel like I get to travel the world with our meals. I mean, this is really cool and I really, really love that. We also have zucchini and tomato flatbreads, which definitely feels very Italian. And we've got pasta primavera with lemon parmesan sauce. I'm gonna get this food going while we share Scott's antique market with you guys. And I will meet you back here in a little bit. HelloFresh is really amazing because it really cuts out the stressful meal planning and prepping because all of the ingredients arrive on your doorstep. They're fresh, they're pre-measured, and the recipes are really, really easy to follow. And it's so quick and easy to get healthy meals on the table. I think it's really awesome because you know you're gonna get something delicious every single time. The packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food in is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. I really love that HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and is continuing to step up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code VALENTINA12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. I'll leave all the details down below in the description box. When we first walked in, I honestly thought, Okay, well, this was a bust, <laughs> but at least Jack will have snacks. And then we started to actually get to where the antiques were, and I thought, oh, okay, 
we're gonna be here a while because there are so many cool things. And I started to realize just how big this place was and how much there was to look at. And I honestly just started looking at everything. I was just trying to absorb what was happening even around me because this place was so much bigger than I even imagined. And there were already so many cool things that I almost just felt myself just almost shutting down. Like I'm literally just going to be looking and absorbing today. I seriously doubt that I'm even gonna be able to make a decision because I don't even know if I can trust myself uh, to even like think clearly because there was so much cool artwork. There were so many cool things. We honestly just really started to just just look and take in all the different styles that we were seeing and each of the different vendors, what they had and really not try to think about even purchasing at first because something this big can really feel overwhelming and also extremely exciting. <laughs> I was trying not to like jump up and down and make a fool of myself. <laughs> when we got to the African booth, I just about died. I felt like we were li literally visiting some other country. It was incredible. All the different wood carvings and all the different things. I was so overwhelmed. I so regret not going back and making more purchases. There were also beautiful rugs, beautiful furniture, every corner <laughs> that we turned. There were so many beautiful things. The other fun thing that I was doing while we were here was I was updating my Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, go visit Valentina Fussell over on, on Instagram and follow me there because a lot of times I'll post things like this in the stories and get your you guys' feedback in the moment. I think that's what's so fun about that medium. Um, but here we are in this, I was eyeing all the garden things and there were all kinds of things for the French country modern style that I love so much. And there's like, there's literally something here for everyone. And oh my gosh, all the cool old mirrors were so beautiful. And I found myself just, you can see here, this is how I update my Instagram. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, look you guys. There's so many exotic things. I was totally freaking out. I I couldn't even get my mind around that there were this many amazing things. And I found myself wanting to decorate basically my entire house and like 10 other houses with all the different styles I was seeing. You can see here, there were so many beautiful, gorgeous pieces of furniture. These actually were really reasonably priced. They weren't cheap. This was definitely not where you were gonna go for a deal, but they had plenty of options that were pretty affordable. I fell in love with this piece. It was made out of mahogany and hand carved in Cuba. This place was like literally visiting the whole world. Like every little stall had something from some other place. This piece almost came home with me. I, I have the link because it's actually listed on Craigslist. Um, both Jack and I were honestly just having the time of our lives. And you can see here, as I went through, kind of how I switched back and forth because I like to be able to show you guys stuff on Instagram. He really looked at some of these rugs because there were so many different choices and same with the artwork. And we just realized that what we really needed to do was make sure that we had a really good plan in place and really knew what we wanted before we just started buying random things. Now, of course, if I see something that I love, which I did soon after this moment, I did grab some things and I'll show you those in just a minute. But I really had a bit of an idea of what I wanted and I was prepared. I, I talked about my tips and tricks in my one of my last videos. I'll leave a link for that down in the video description box. But um, these doors were something that I wanted to bring home and I have nowhere to put them. So it's stuff like that where you realize you're gonna see a lot of really cool things that you might not be able to bring home and then there's other things that are perfect and you just grab them because you're not sure where they're gonna go but you know you're just going to find a spot so again I'll leave the link for that video with all my tips and tricks down in, in the description box so you can find it but also can you guess here what it was that I brought home with me we'll find out in just a minute to see if you are right okay well we just had fun we just had a ton of fun we went to Scott's antique market which is apparently one of the largest antique market slash flea markets 
in the southeast. It was massive. It was huge. And I don't know about you, but I am white out. It was a little overwhelming, <laughs> to say the least, to walk in there. We had so much fun. We did. But I am in need of a coffee, and we are going to get one. Um, I'm going to get dinner started, and we're going to show you guys what we got, and then I'm going to have to have a coffee. So are we doing a haul? Yes. I don't normally get to do hauls. I know. <gasps> <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> we get to show you what we've got. So do we get to show our favorite things? Yes. Okay, I'll start with mine. You guys know I have a thing for African carved pieces. And this is so cool. Oh my gosh, the thing is so amazing. Look at this. This little guy is from the Ivory Coast. And what's really cool is he said that that's how they create patterns on their yeah. fabrics is using that, the little roller on there. So that is awesome and that's gonna go immediately to my coffee table. I know, I love that thing. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So I got this. Are you gonna show that? Did I get my favorite thing? Yeah. Stop. All this buttering up is not gonna work. Okay, this is my <laughs> new coffee cup. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> A gigantor vase. Yes. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. I loved all the texture and the warmth, the patina that it has. And in my dream, I was thinking like olive tree. Don't know if I'll be able to find one of those, but something wispy that could maybe come out of it. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Either way, it could be sitting somewhere and just be completely amazing. So, wow, was that ever a find? Um, and then, I found, let's see if I can show you guys, this beautiful little page out of a book. And supposedly, he did say that it had just arrived from Paris. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't care. We're gonna pretend like it just arrived from Paris either way. And I just loved that it had the Greek key and um, I believe that's Medusa up at the top and it just had my name written all over it. And so that will be going into an art collage in the next coming days. I'm gonna, yeah. yeah. Well, why don't I, I'll show, okay, so I got these. Shh, don't tell her. I got these for Haley because her birthday's coming up and she is a huge fan of like butterflies and little moths and things. I'm talking quietly because she's right there and I don't want to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna frame these and give her these for her birthday gift, Yay. which is coming up in three days. In three days. <laughs> She's turning 20. <laughs> <laughs> but at least she appreciates vintage yeah, things. And she I does. think that that's really cool. And then we found um, another, let's see. This is like a, it's always hard to show things that are white. It's a really cool little sketch. We've got a few of these. We got Grumpy Old Man. I love that guy. We love Grumpy Old Man, don't we? And then this reminded me of the little caftans oh, yeah. that they wear in Morocco. These are amazing. And Jack is trying to convince me to put some blue into the powder room, which is where he likes to go to brush his teeth sometimes when I, if I, he thinks I'm not awake. <laughs> He's trying to be more quiet in the morning. So we'll see if those make it to the powder room or not. I, know. I don't know for sure. They'll but go somewhere. Super cool. They're amazing. Yeah. All right. So we also got this amazing, yes. really cool giant Bre breadboard. Breadboard, which is just amazing. And we use stuff like this all the time. We Will do. Will we actually use this? I won't lay, I probably won't lay food on I it. I wouldn't lay food on it, but I'll we can use put... it like as a serving board. Yeah. And it adds like a really cool layer and it's going to look amazing. It's supposed to be for a client, but that's probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna go into my kitchen. <laughs> well, the cool thing on this side is you can actually see hundreds and thousands of little cut marks. Yeah. So this has been used it has. a lot. It's the real deal. I love that. Yeah, and look at how when you put this next, we, are these called sea brains? What do they call it? <laughs> I don't I've never heard that. Yeah, it had like, look at it, it's something like that. A brain of sorts, coral, what's this stuff called? I don't know what it's called. But the cool thing was this that is amazing. everything the guy had was like real. Yeah. Like he was selling these great Yeah, so you can really tell and stuff when and you have real stuff that sits next to each other. It's amazing. Yeah. So that's all we got. We had a lot of fun looking. We came close to buying 
quite a few things yeah. and may still go back. I want to bring some of the adventure back into the house. <laughs> you guys may not even know this because we don't even say it, but our first year of marriage, we went to China. Yeah. Like no one knows that. And so I'm, I love all the modern stuff that we have, but I also love the textures and I love the sense of like collected. And so I don't know, there's some, there were some interesting pieces today that. Yes. That really are tempting us. And yeah. I think it's giving us something to think about. And instead of being too spontaneous about purchases, We've decided that we're gonna give it some time and to think about it, and that way when we go back, we'll know. Yeah. We'll know for sure that's what we want to do. Yeah. Thank you so much for going with us, and oh, don't forget subscribe. Oh, don't hit subscribe. Don't, <laughs> don't forget, hit subscribe. Don't hit subscribe. <laughs> Whatever you do, no, don't forget to hit subscribe, and then follow us on Instagram, both channels, because yeah, you did a bunch of stories today. I did. From I gave there. tons of sneak peeks of everything. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You come just as the food is ready. I can smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look at this, I made this. That's beautiful. Want to try a bite? Yes. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That is delicious. Yum. I made a mess. Can you help me clean up the kitchen? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs>